Hi everyone. Tonight is a very exciting night. And tonight we're going to be doing a very special fire alarm demonstration. And this one is special. What we have what what devices do we have up for the system? Right now I have my System Sensor Spectre Alert Classic Remote Strobe model number S1224MC. That device was tested in Fire Alarm Test 11 a long time ago. Yeah, I made a video of that alarm a long time ago. And guess what I got in the mail today? That's right. It's my first functional pull station. So, it's a conventional pull station. It's a Firelight BG12L. And I have encountered some issues with it before because I did not get a key for this pull station. And I digged a piece of metal into the lock to turn the lock to unlock it. So, so if you guys want to tell me what type of key this pull station takes, please do so. And please do so, guys, so I can get a key in the future. Okay, so... How I set this up, here are my batteries right here. I have the negative, the, I have the black negative wire from the negative end of the battery to the negative part of the pole station. And I have the positive wire from the pole station going to the alarm, to the negative part of the alarm. And I have the positive part of the alarm from that blue wire hooked back over to the batteries. So this is, and that's how you hook a pole station up to a fire alarm. This is all you need to make this work without a panel. So I may get a fire alarm control panel in the future. I'm not completely sure, but I was able to get, pick up a pole station that's functional. So I can do activate with my alarms with a pole station. And I think this is a pretty cool setup and it's a very neat project. And it's kind of like a science project, pretty much. And I would really like to share this to you guys. And and when I hooked this up all by myself, and I tested this once off camera, and it was really cool. And I would like to demonstrate the, the pole station being activated, and it would set off the fire alarms. And... Some pole stations use a button, and believe it or not, this one uses a switch instead of a button. So, when you open the pole station, the button releases and the alarm goes off. And if you pull the lever down, same thing happens. And with this pole station, when you open, you'd think when you open this pole station up, the alarm would go off. That's not the case with this pole station because the pole station uses a switch. The alarm will go off when you flip the switch down to fire alarm mode. If you flip the switch to up mode, it goes into normal. But it wouldn't exactly it wouldn't turn the alarm back off when it's connected to the fire alarm control panel. But when you flip the switch up, the the alarm will turn off because it's just running off of a pair of batteries. But on the fire alarm control panel, if you just flip the switch up, the alarm would still be going off. Like when you pull the pole station and if you reset the pole station, the alarm doesn't turn back off until you go to the control panel to reset the system. So, when you pull the pull the fire alarm, it doesn't turn back off. It's just kind of weird how they design fire alarm systems like that, but it's very interesting how they set them up. So, so this pole station is very special, so I'm able to reset it now without a key, so I can... And now I can just open it up because the I put the lock in unlocked mode, so I I can just open it and close it, like open it and close it and reset it. And sorry for my long chit chat, guys. So let's get on with the test. So are you guys ready? So are you ready? Three, two. One. As you can see the yellow sticker, it reads activated. 
that means the fire alarm is activated and the fire alarm is going off right now well this is a strobe only fire alarm that I have right now because it's a little bit late at night and I really don't want to disturb people throughout the house and I really wanted to test out this pull station as you can see the yellow sticker um reads activated the handles pulled down it's kind of a dual action t-bar it's a push in pull down deal so push in and pull down it's very cool so i i really like this pull station a lot it's my very first functional pull station that i ever bought well too bad it didn't came with a key it was a pain in the butt to unlock that lock because I had to push like all three buttons up in the lock with a piece of metal to get the lock to turn. Which was kind of a pain in the butt. So, luckily, well it wasn't too hard but it's really cool that I designed this fire alarm system right here. This little mini demonstration. I find this very, very interesting. Let's shut my lamp off right here. It looks really cool. I really love this, guys, and this is a brand new video. So, let's reset the pole station. I have to jiggle it to open it. See? The handle snapped back up. And, see the model number? BG12L. I know, my finger's in the way. Yeah, my battery's low on the camera, so BG12L. Now let's close it. However, I just closed the pull station and the alarm just turned right off. Let's give it one more pull. Push in. Pull down. Now let's open it up and reset it. The handle snaps back up. And the wire just popped out of the battery for no reason. That's, that's kind of weird. Let me hook up the battery. There we go. And you can flip the switch back up, back into normal, and it'll just shut off. Well, anyways, guys, let's do drill mode. Whoops. Wire came loose again. Apologize for that, guys. My crappy wiring. All right. Ready? Let's do drill mode. Three, two, one. Now let's close the pole station. And when you close the pole station, it just shuts off. Okay, let's give it one last pull if I want to have a little more fun. Ready? Push in, pull down. That is pretty cool. I keep saying that, I know. I like having fun with this stuff, guys. Um... Fire alarms are still a big hobby of mine, guys. I really love, um, I also like the pull stations of fire alarms as well. So, um, so I was able to pick up a pull station, and I'm glad I was able to pick up one. Okay, let's reset the pull station. 
and we're back to normal well guys that was a fun project i hope you liked it if you want to and this will be included in my future fire alarm tests the pole station so i now have a pole station and this is my very first pole station that i ever have that's functional so like a long time ago i bought my very first fire alarm now i have my very first favorite pole station this is my very first pole station that i ever bought so it's a very nice pole station, and I really liked it, but except it doesn't have a key. So please let me know if you guys know what type of key this pole station ha takes, um, so I can get a key for it, so I don't have to, so I don't have to leave it unlocked all the time. So I that was um, a fire alarm demonstration of this pole station. I hope you liked it. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I will see you guys later. And bye-bye. Thank you for watching the video. Bye.